Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, this is No Chefs here. You know what I haven't done in a while? Is make something special. So, as you guessed from the title, I'm making today some spicy Korean style chicken feet, dakbal. But before we begin, I wanted to share that my channel now has over 300 subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support, for your views, for your comments. I really, really appreciate it. Here I've got, it is a sparkling wine. Not sponsored. Cheers to this cooking episode. That's nice. So here's everything that I've got for this recipe. I have two tablespoons, hot pepper flakes, gochugaru, gochujang, hot pepper paste, Shaoxing cooking wine, but if you have mirin, please use that instead. I just don't use it so much, so I'm going to substitute light soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, a large green onion, ginger, this size, seven cloves of garlic to your taste, some toasted sesame seeds for garnish. Here is a coarse salt, the star of the show, of course chicken feet. These are about 1.4 pounds or like 630 grams. So the first step of this operation, cleaning the chicken feet. Take some good shears and remove these nails. If you position the shears right beneath the nail, you will see that it will actually fit under the lost joint and cut off really easy. A big credit to my local Chinese market. They're doing an incredible job in cleaning these. These are really clean, but if you see any kind of dark spots on the inside of the foot, you can also remove it. There you go. So the next step, I have coarse sea salt. Then just cold water. I can just get in here and massage them very well. Continue doing this for a while. Also consider that massaging them will actually help them be more tender and relax a little bit. Go ahead and drain it. I'm gonna rinse it a couple more times. Give your bowl a nice wash inside and out, then the sink, 20 seconds, just like your hands, that's when the soap sanitize. On the next step, I have the feet in enough water to cover them. Cold feet, no pun intended, cold water, bring them to boil so that they come up to a temperature at the same time. As water comes up to temperature, make sure you give them a stir once in a while so that they don't, you know, start burning on the bottom where the uh, fire source is. So once they start boiling and we'll go for 10 minutes. This process here, because you see all this scum coming off, is the next stage of cleaning. 10 minutes in, see all that stuff that came off of them? Go ahead and drain. I'm rinsing under cold water. This will clean them and also help with the texture. Give the chicken a nice rinse. Next, I'll grab like a half the ginger I had in the beginning. Um, not going to peel it or anything like that. Green part of the onion, I will save for garnish. Let's go with most of the white part of this green onion. Like this. And then this part I will leave for the sauce. Just rough chops.
Now we have our clean chicken. Cold water, cold chicken, it's almost like a fresh start, right? Go in with the onions and the ginger in here. Sea salt. Like a tablespoon. Give it a nice mix to distribute everything. Now, high heat. So here we are at this stage again. Chicken is coming up to a boil, just like before. Make sure you give it a mix once in a while so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. All right, cover, heat to medium, medium low, simmer. Timer, 40 minutes, very slow simmer. By the magic of editing, 40 minutes later, we've got this. So now, the idea is to drain the feet and rinse under cold water again. However, this is an amazing chicken stock. I'm going to keep it. So instead of actually dumping this all out, I'm going to save it and put chicken in here. Back to the sink, chicken, cold water going in. So what I'm trying to do here is stop the cooking process because there is a next step involved where we start from zero again. Here we go. They're pretty uh, cool to touch, so let's just let them sit and cool completely off. Let me see this broth here. Or stock. Oh my, that is so rich. This is gold. Keep it. So look at this. As a bonus, I have six cups of this beautiful chicken stock. I'm going to use it very soon. Let's make the seasoning. Just clean the ginger. Garlic. The size of each piece should be pretty similar to ginger. That's how I like this. Let's get mm, about this much of the green onion. Now, of course, if you don't have this big green onion, you can use small green onion. Just use a couple. There you go. Continuing with the sauce. I've got two tablespoon gochugaru pepper flakes. Soy sauce. I'm using a tablespoon as a reference. Shaoxing cooking wine, or if you have, mirin. One. Two. Oyster sauce. Here's one. Here's two. Now, gochujang. Here's one and a half. So all we gotta do now is mix this. Of course, you must give this a taste. Wow, that is delicious. So let me show you the consistency I'm looking for. All right, now we're back with the chicken feet. Completely cold, nice. The sauce goes right in. And mix. So make sure that everything is coated quite well. And now you have a couple of options. You can let the chicken marinate in there overnight and you can grill them or place it in the oven under a broiler or pan fry. But I can't wait to eat 
all I'm gonna do is pan fry right now. So I got my pan on high heat, just a non-stick spray. And when it feels hot enough, I'm just gonna go right in. And get all that sauce too. So when you see sauce sticking really nicely and being reduced, we're pretty much done. You could go a little bit further and develop some color on these, but I'm going to do that. When you plate these, drizzle with some sesame seed oil before eating. Super excited. So there is no good way of eating this probably is not a good idea for your first date because there's a lot of bones there's also variation you can make with boneless chicken feet but I believe that everything with bone in is more flavorful besides I get some kind of a satisfaction you know out of cleaning off the uh, meat of the bone so let's give it a try Actually, some of these bones is okay to chew too. They're soft. So yeah, those bones that you cannot chew, you just have to remove. Well, I absolutely love it. It is delicious. The texture is so soft. It's completely full of the bone. However, don't worry, even though we boil them for so long, they still maintain the integrity. They're not falling apart. But at the same time, because of that, most of the bones are so soft, you can actually chew them. It is spicy enough, but not overbearing. I can still feel some heat on my mouth. The flavor is amazing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.